My name is Donna and welcome back to my channel, No Mirror Needed, where I make videos on a ton of topics such as lifestyle, fashion, beauty, fitness, anything that's going to help us live our best life possible. So I have my queen t-shirt on today because today is Freddie Mercury's 74th birthday, or he would have been 74 today, and Queen is my favorite band of all time. Today is September 5th, if you didn't know, this is his birthday. So just want to give him a huge happy birthday shout out because we love Queen and we love Freddie Mercury. But today I will be doing a first impressions review, sort of a first impressions review on the hair coloring dyeing kit that you can get at home from the company Madison Reed. And I actually, this is not really a first impressions for me because I have used this product a couple of times. I just haven't had a chance to talk about it. So if you don't know, I've been having a lot of issues with my hair and I've been holding off dyeing. Um, my hair as much as possible or putting any product in it I'll go ahead and leave a link above for you so you can go ahead and check out the video where I talk about all the products that I've been using to pretty much fight the issues that I've been having with my hair such as massive fallout drying coarseness um, but it is an ongoing issue so I've been using Madison Reed for a while now probably like three or four months when I dye my hair I use just like out of the box a L'Oreal like preference it's to for go for gray coverage which is really why I'm dyeing my hair it's to cover as much gray as possible I started going gray when I was like 35 if you haven't seen my other video that I did about four months ago on how to dye your hair at home for beginners I'll leave a link above for you for that video as well so you can go ahead and check it out but this video is going to be more for like professionals we're not going to be mixing any like pneumonia or different types of um, ingredients like that we're just going to be covering and reviewing the Madison Reed products so the reason why I chose Madison Reed is because I've been looking for an at-home dyeing kit for a while and this one came up in my Instagram feed one time and I was like let me just go ahead and check out this company it's an all-natural product it does not have those harsh chemicals like you're used to in the box dyes it also is um, vegan it is cruelty free and it has no pneumonia so that is one of the reasons why I chose Madison Reed because I'm trying to put obviously a less product in my hair and I'm really trying to build up that strongness in the hair again because it has been such an ongoing battle with what's been going on with my hair so I don't want to add more problems to it um, so I've been just using this for a couple of months and it seems to be lasting a lot longer I feel like the Madison Reed products um, actually allows the dye to um, stay on a lot longer and has less fading and basically you're getting a professional hair color at home by doing it yourself so and it's really super affordable um, I think the subscription box is only $35.99 which I think is really good for the quality product that you're getting you can set up your um, subscription to come to you as frequently or as limited as you prefer so when I dye my hair by the box dye when I get it at the store I'm usually dyeing it every four to six weeks but with the Madison Reed hair color kit at home I can actually push it to about eight weeks so I have me on schedule for every eight weeks which I like because I can pause it stop it and it has no um, contract so you can cancel at any time and you can pause it if you want and it's really it's effortless to just get um, the subscription sent to you what I like is that they chose a hair color that was specifically geared towards my needs I was able to take a short quiz and pick out exactly what hair color was going to be best for my texture my style and the issues that I wanted to basically use the hair dye for so the hair color that I have is really honed in on covering very stubborn grays and it just gives you an all natural vibrant multi-dimensional color that you I don't think that you can really pick up at the store so I think that this is just a really great subscription box that you can get at home and for my first subscription I believe I got 15% off I got the whole thing for only about $20 and I'll show you exactly what comes in the box but I was also given the turban like the turban towel for free which I love because I love that I can just throw my hair up it's quick drying so it really helps your hair to dry a lot quicker than if you would use you know a, a use a towel which I like because I don't want to put as much heat on my hair I'm trying to limit as much heat that I can so this allows my hair to dry a lot faster 
when I first purchased the first box, I wanted to do more of a professional um, technique. So I wound up getting the bowl, the mixing bowl, and the brush that goes with it, which helps with application a lot easier. I think that it really gets the sides of your hair a lot better um, than just using your fingers. Um, I also picked up just a couple of clips, and they gave me a free comb as well. So as you know, in between dyes, I always use the L'Oreal. This is the gray root touch-up. I love this stuff. It's about $11 in the store. So if I do see a couple of grays, you know, peeking through, I can just go ahead and spray this. And if you know, I've used this for years and I've never had an issue with it running or it um, coming on my clothes. I've used it throughout like hot summer days, cold days, in the rain, at the pool, at the beach. And I never had an issue like dripping or getting on anything. It's, uh, you basically spray it on your hair like hairspray and it stays right in place. So I've never had any issue with it. And in addition, if you are going to color your hair like I am, I'm going to do today and you have the root cover up on your roots already you want to just make sure you either you know you're really supposed to dye your hair on dirty hair because it helps adhere to your hair a lot better and adhere to the root a lot better but if you have the root touched up sprayed onto your root you are going to prevent the dye from actually seeping through so you want to not have any type of protectant on your hair so if you have this on there you may want to wash your hair a couple of days in advance unfortunately and get this stuff off of your hair roots um, or just try to vigorously run a brush or comb through your hair so you can try and get some of that coverage off otherwise the hair dye is not going to stick as well as it should to your hair I know that a lot of times when I've gone to the salon and my hairstylist has seen this on my hair she's yelled at me and she said stop putting that on your hair but what are you going to do if if you are in between dyes and you just can't get your hair dyed every two three weeks so the color profile that they chose for me was Ravina or Ravenna I'll put it up here on the screen for you so you can see exactly what the color looks like this is like a dark brown um, permanent hair color for me I have really dark brown hair sometimes it could look black almost if I freshly dye my hair but it does have a lot of red undertones I'll show you everything I'll break it out for you so you can see what you get when you purchase the hair color so this is how the box comes and when you first open the box you can see that it has all this product right inside for you it comes with a ton of stuff that you're gonna need to dye your hair professionally at home it definitely comes with some instructions for you so if you just open this up it's gonna tell you exactly how to dye your hair read through this know the safety of dyeing your hair do a patch test if necessary and it does tell you exactly how to prepare the hair it tells you step-by-step -step instructions on which steps to take depending on which products you're using to dye your hair if you're doing more of a full head of hair or you're doing doing sections or you're doing a highlight they have the instructions all laid out for you so what you get in the box is the conditioning color activator and this is what you're going to use to mix the hair dye it has a nozzle that it comes with it has the radiant cream color it comes in this box and when you open it it's going to have a tube of hair dye for you this is 1.7 fluid ounces. So you're just gonna mix this product into this product and then shake it up and you are gonna be good to go. It comes with a hair cap, it comes with gloves, um, it does come with shampoo and conditioner for you to use. Um, it comes with cleansing wipes and it comes with barrier cream. Barrier cream is what we're gonna use first. We're gonna put it all around the edge of our hair. But first we're gonna go ahead and change our shirt because we don't wanna get any dye on Freddie Mercury. We're going to change our shirt into something dirty, something that I don't care that gets anything on it. Um, and then we are going to come back and I'm going to show you exactly how I prepare the dye. Sorry, I got really hungry. So I made myself a sandwich in between changing my shirt and getting the rest of the things that I'm going to need to dye my hair. So other things that you're going to need for sure, definitely a pick comb. And if you don't have a mixing bowl, you don't need it. But I do suggest if you want a more precise, professional look, then just go ahead and pick yourself up one of these sets. You can get it off of Amazon or you can get it from the Madison Reed Collection. We are going to comb through and brush through my hair first. And please don't judge me by my hair. I, Like I said, I'm having a lot of issues and it is very thin from how it used to be. And there's just been a lot of changes to it. So this is what my hair has pretty much turned into. I mean, you can see how much thinner it has become. 
but because I have that L'Oreal stuff in it, we're just going to brush through as much as we possibly can to get some of that coverage off of the roots. So when you're ready to mix the hair, you're going to take the conditioning color activator and the radiant cream. And you're just going to squeeze this entire bottle in here, the entire tube. They do sell like this nifty tube roller where you can roll all of the product out of the tube. Once you get all the product in the tube, just put the cap back on. And we're just going to mix this together. Now you can very much put the nozzle back on and use this to apply the dye to your hair. But I do like using the mixing bowl a lot better. I would not suggest mixing it in the bowl. I don't think that you're going to mix it good enough, but you will lose a little bit of product by transporting it. This dye is really odor free. And then we'll give it just like one good like mix. Okay, so I got off as much of that hair cover up root as possible. And you can see how the roots are really, really gray really gray along the sides here. There's gonna be a lot of gray going around and really around my crown area. So we're not gonna dye the entire head of hair today. We're only going to dye the roots. So if you want, you can use the barrier cream and you're just gonna apply that to your hairline and that's just gonna help the dye from not staining your skin. I usually use like an astringent or a toner to get the dye off if, if necessary. And it smells really, really good. Has no odor. Which I really appreciate it because I hate that harsh chemical odor that you get from hair dye. I know some people may cringe to the fact that I'm doing this like in my kitchen, but I really have no other place to do it. So let's section off the hair. We're going to go down the center. And the part, in the middle part, just part your hair. We're going to section off all of our hair today. Because we really want to make sure we get all those spots. So our hair is sectioned right across the back here and that's where we're going to start applying some of the dye. So we're going to put our gloves on and we're going to work all the way back around again to that portion anyway, but because it's really hard to see and if you're, you know, just new to dyeing your hair, obviously it's really hard to see the back of your head. You just want to kind of like feel and I have my mirror right down here for me so I can kind of see like a good angle. But just with your brush, you just want to dip in a little bit and then you could just start applying to the back.
we got half of the back of the head done, we're gonna have to take down all the hair and we're going to start working front and then move back down to the back again. If you notice, I went back in with some of the um, leftover hair dye that was in the bottle, and I just worked that into my hair, into the roots, especially paying most attention to the back of the head. And I just worked that in like I would lather up any type of shampoo or conditioner, just to get it like working into those areas, into those troublesome areas. As you can see, I sectioned off each part. I always start with the bottom half of my head because I feel like that's the hardest part to hit. It's also the most stubborn to cover grays because you can't really get back there as much as you can the front. So some of those areas tend to go um, untouched sometimes. So I like to always start work from the middle of the head and I work all the way down, sectioning off just the back part. Then I come back to the front, I section it off down the middle of my part, and then I just, in section, I just work my way down to the sides on each side, and then I start from the top of the back of the head, and then I work back down to where we started. So I just come full circle with the complete um, dies. Once you're done with that, you can grab your cleansing wipes, 
or a um, or a baby wipe and you can just work some of that off I'm not going to take off I'm gonna leave like an inch on my skin going up towards the scalp because I want it to really work in that area so I'm not gonna take off I can see a spot right here so now we're gonna grab our shower cap that they give you and for 30 minutes we're gonna put this in the shower cap and we're gonna let it sit minutes I'm gonna just take the shower cap off and sit for another 10 I'm gonna jump in the shower style my hair and then I will definitely show you the final look. so guys this is the completed and final look I curled my hair all natural today so I can show you exactly what my hair looks like I didn't put any extensions in and I just did like a very soft all natural curl as you can see how much the hair has thinned out but I think it really looks a lot fuller and the color is really vibrant and like I said the reason why I like Madison Reed so much is because it just gives you an all natural look the undertones are there and it really brings out my all natural highlight hopefully this video inspired you to dye your hair at home professionally using Madison Reed's hair dyeing if you're new to my channel please like subscribe make sure you hit that notification bell leave a comment down below on other types of videos that you would like to see if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for your views you have no idea how much you're appreciated it really helps me out with my channel and for now guys have a great Labor Day weekend. Bye!